Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday to you. I hope that you've had a great week. And I want to just take a second here to thank you so much for probably two of my most favorite video responses or comments that I've ever had. Your responses to my video yesterday about my divorce and happiness and feeling sexy after divorce and your comments to 10 things to make you feel sexy or 11 things or whatever it is, things that make you feel sexy. I have enjoyed those so much. I have enjoyed reading those better than any comments I've ever gotten. And they just made me smile, made me, the ones from yesterday just touched my heart. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And next week I'm going to do um, the story of how I met John and how I knew he was the right one and stuff like that. I think that would kind of go along good with that. And a few of you have asked me that. So, um, I did get some good stuff this week. I'm excited. And um, I did get a few um, swaps and gifts type things in the mail. So, um, first, I'm just so going to start thing with I'm what show I got. is something that didn't really work out very well for me. I thought I was going to love it. And I'm kind of mad at myself for going against my word. Because, you know, I said I wasn't going to get try anything new if I already had something that I loved so much. So, I was in Ulta. And I am out of, could not find my Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo. So I was walking down the aisle and this, for some reason, just jumped out at me. And I have never tried it, but for some reason that name just sounded familiar. Like I might have heard you guys say you liked it. And then I saw the Allure Award. So I thought, gosh, well, you know, it's got to be good. I had a coupon. I think it was like $17.99. So I ended up getting it for $14.99 or something like that and it's terrible it's dry shampoo with oat milk and it did not i've used it twice it did not really work that good the other day when i used it and today when i used it it started Ooh, you can see some just came out on my thing here um it started just coming all out of this and i found spots of it all on my shirt and it was coming all out of the back so i don't know if that's just a fluke but it just reaffirmed see i still have stuff coming out it just reaffirmed that I need to just go get my Bumble and Bumble and just forget about trying new dry shampoos. There was one that somebody told me it was a texture dry shampoo type spray that is the Orib, and I might try it because that brand is just so, supposed to be so phenomenal and I hear so much good about it and there is a salon right at the beach that I go to that um, carries it. So that's one thing. And let's see, I've got this on today and I'm going to go back and get, there's another color called, gosh, I don't know if it's called Azalea. It's called a, a name that fits the color, which it's kind of like a hot pink. I'm not sure what it is, but it is another one of these glosses from Clarins. This is the Nude and the one I had on last Friday was Rose. These just have the prettiest shine and the best feeling, no funky smell and they last for a long time. I'm not going to say they just last forever, but they last a long time to be as glossy and pretty as they are, and they just feel so good on. And um, they, I love that they have the, um, they have a neat doe foot applicator that's kind of contoured to your lips, and mm, just, they don't feel sticky. They, and they, I don't know, I can't even describe how good they feel, but they are the, let's see, the Gloss Prettige, and this is number two, Nude. And I just put it on with a Sephora Rose liner to give it more of a color color because I felt like I okay. needed it. I keep the boxes in here so I won't forget to tell you anything. So that is the Gloss Prodige. This is another little, they still have these little Urban Decay Super Curl Mascaras on the little near the checkout counter at Ulta. So I grabbed another one because that other one lasted me a couple of months and um, it's only $9. So I don't know, it's just easier. I mean, I might be better off getting the $20 one, but mascaras dry out so easy. I think it's almost better to just keep getting the $9 one. So I got that. And then this is one of my favorite things I got this week. And I'm wearing it today and I wore it yesterday. And it is another one of my favorite blushes. And it is one of the Baked Matte Satin. And this is Hollywood. And I really was anxious to show you this because look how gorgeous that is. When you look at the tester in Ulta, it's not gonna, you're not gonna see the pink as much. See how it's kind of like a rose gold? I think they call it on the website a rose bronze color. And in, but if you go look at it in the store, 
you just don't see very much pink or much rose on the tester and I think it's where people have taken their fingers and gone, done, you know, gone across it like that and it looks like it's going to be way too dark but I put it on yesterday and today and I love it. These are the best blushes ever. I mean I, I don't know if I've ever enjoyed a blush like this so if you like that color of that bronzy rosy gold it's going to be so good in the summertime and it just gives you that perfect amount of flush to your cheeks and it says baked matte satin and it should just say baked glow blush because it just makes your cheeks glow it's not i guess it would be a satin a glowy satin but don't look at it and think it's just going to be old to like a msf or anything it's not it's very a very satin finish and i just love it so now i've got this one which is hollywood i've got the peachy pink one which is exposed which is nothing like the tarte exposed those are good tarte exposed is good if you don't want any glow or frost you want more of a matte and um which other one do i have oh i have uh, velvet rope which is a plummy rose color and the next one i want to get there's a beautiful hot pink and then there's a beautiful real light peach color and the girl at uh, ulta said that the real light peachy one i mean it's real light peachy i don't know if i've ever seen another blush this color said that that kim kardashian wears that one and um so i might get that one next i don't know if it'll look good on me because i certainly don't have her I do have just about her skin coloring, but I don't have her hair and eyes, so I don't know, but we'll see. I just love them. And then I got, the day I went to Belk's to get another gloss, I saw this. And this was actually left over from the fall collection. And I don't know if you guys saw that fall collection, but there is two bright pink lipsticks. I believe one's called Tropical Pink or Pink Tropics and then Flamingo Pink. And I wanted to get both of those. Um, they're just beautiful. I can't believe they were in their fall collection. But this one I wore a couple of days ago. And it's 101 Tender Rose. And it's the Rouge Prodige, which is my favorite. And it is just a gorgeous mid-tone pink. It's just pink. It's just kind of like my fingernails. But a little bit, probably a little bit pinker. But um, here, I'll swatch it. I don't know if it'll register on camera how pink it is. But it's just beautiful. And it's... If you like the, this is one, if you like the Rouge Prodige Nude, that is my, one of my favorite nudes, you will love this because this is the exact same consistency, the exact same look in a nice, subdued, pretty pink color. So I think you'd really, okay, really one like thing, this. I forgot, I had this in my basket to show you. A couple of you have asked me what I've been using for tanner. And up until um, night before last, I had not been using anything. I don't know if the camera just made me look more tan or if I've just been using more bronzer or what it was, but it kind of got me thinking. And Rhonda, in one of her last big packages that she sent me, I believe it was at the start of last fall, sent me a package of the Kate Somerville um, Skin Health Experts Somerville 360 Tanning Towelette for face and body. Now, I haven't used this on my face because I wear makeup and I just don't want to mess anything I like my routine so far but night before last and last night i used one of these all over my whole body and i really now it does think kind it of a good job. Job. you know like if you have any you know freckles and stuff like that but it really gives a nice color i don't know if you can tell the difference it's on my hands and just one towelette goes over your whole body and i just love it it just is a beautiful color and I really enjoy using something like this better than a spray or a lotion because it dries so much quicker. So thank you, Rhonda. I've got two left, and I will probably order some more because that sure does make you feel better to have a little bit of color. The thing that I wanted to get this week was the Kyle Richards book. It says, Life is not a reality show. Keeping it real with the housewife who does it all. And you'll notice I've got two bookmarks in there because I started reading it. And it's really a good book. I really, it's neat because I really feel like I know her so much better now. And she really has some good advice that is right along with the way I think too about men and who you choose and to marry not and resist stuff like that. But to go back to her style chapter and read about, you know, her different hair products and different makeup and different things that she likes like that. And she actually uses Pantene shampoo which I used Pantene shampoo 
forever and it got to where it the smell was just it was just too strong and it made my another scalp thing itchy. is that she said that she uses a lot of drugstore makeup and she listed some things and um let's see i know l'oreal voluminous was her favorite mascara and gosh i'm trying to think i think she wears the l'oreal uh, Ferris nude lipstick, but one of the things that she bragged on was this and it is the L'Oreal infallible six hour never fail lip gloss gloss and The color is sunset is her favorite color and it's 415 is the number and it is a really pretty gloss I probably should have worn this to show you but I put it on the day I got it and it lasted it lasted a long time. I, I think it did last six hours. And it comes with this, you know, kind of like um, Lancome does this little doe foot type thing. And see that circle in there just catches more product. So it really goes on your lips good. And I plan on getting some other colors of this. I think there's a pink one that either Gwen Stefani or Halle Berry has on some pretty colors. I have tried the plumping ones and I didn't care for those, but this is the first time I've ever tried the six hour and I really like it. So if you want to try a new gloss that's not crazy expensive, I believe it was only like $8. And then if you found a sale on Revlon, you could really do good. So I got that at Ulta. And her other favorite gloss I've ordered and it should be here next week is Trish McAvoy, and I believe it's called Irresistible. And that's the one that she wears that's just a light, pinky, real sparkly color. So I ordered that, um, I had a gift certificate for Amazon that I had been saving forever, and so I ended up ordering that and a few other things that I needed. So, to go, and this was purely coincidental, and you guys know I love to watch reality shows. I love to look at the girls' makeup, their clothes, I mean, I just, I love that. And um, so John does not watch that with me. Usually I'm in my bed watching it and he is in his study, but he'll walk through the bedroom and kind of keep up with it just a little bit. And a few nights ago, well, you guys know, whenever they were in Hawaii, John was, you know, catching up on a little few things. He remembers Kim and Kyle. He remembers escape from which mountain or something like that so he was asking me and he noticed kyle's sunglasses which are tom ford and i have had some tom ford the whitney's before and they hurt my nose i think because my nose is just so bony right there that they just hurt my nose and i sold them to one of my subscribers i believe her name is lasa oh i can't remember but she knows who she is she says that she enjoys them so john saw Kyle's sunglasses and said he really liked them and um, when we were in Oliver last Friday night they had they sell Tom Ford sunglasses and so I got them and I love them and they are the let's look on the receipt here and see if it says um, Miranda is the name of them and they are just fabulous and I love them I feel so oh so housewifey in them <laughs> But I love them and see how they fit they have a nose piece that fits right on my nose so they feel so good and they are just so big I feel like all the Sun is blocked out and I just love them I've enjoyed them so much so if you are in the market for a new pair of fabulous sunglasses and I love that they're so different I really like my Prada sunglasses and I love my Ray-Bans I love all my sunglasses I'm a sunglasses fanatic and but they're different they're just totally different than all of my other ones I love the way they're brown based and um, they come in the real nice little you know thing like that and I've been real good about I've just tried to get in the habit of when I get out of the car you know take my little sunglasses thing out of my purse and put my sunglasses back in there and not even try to put them in my hair because they'll stretch them out and those little nose pieces get caught so definitely one of my favorite purchases of the year I love these and I've enjoyed wearing them and John really Some of my them. other favorite purchases this week have been from another, um, like a boutique here where I live. And I did some shopping last week for um, Gina's birthday. And I got her and I something that is just a light. And I'm not freaking out a little bit. I didn't know what I had done with them, but I had them underneath the sunglasses here ready to show you. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Rich Rocks, but it is like a... If you look it up online, it's I think it's richrocksnewyork.com, and it's like a celebrity jewelry line, 
and Jonathan Shaban or Shaban, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but it's Kim Kardashian's friend, Jonathan, on her show. He has like a little division of that where he designs jewelry. And I was looking at that, and when I looked at who sold it, I found out one of the boutiques here in town sell it. So I went and looked, and I ended up getting Gina and I a necklace. And I haven't wanted to wear it because I didn't want to spoil her surprise, so she's already got it. But it is called the, I believe it's called the Gladiator. And, oh, is it not gorgeous? And if you go on the site, see how it lays real pretty. It looks so good. Um, of course, they show people wearing them. And it looks so good with like a t-shirt and a blazer. And then this on the neckline. And it looks like it's really heavy, but it's really not that heavy at all. And, and so those pieces lay like that. And it's kind of like that brushed gold. And then it's a little bit adjustable. But I just love it, love it, love it. And it's really, it was not that expensive. It was um, 75 which I thought was not bad for it to be, you know, a designer piece. And um, it's just gorgeous. And I know I'm going to just run this in the ground, but it's going to look so good with maxi dresses. Even if you have, I would love to have one of these, one of those long sleeve scoop neck maxi dresses. It would look so pretty with that. And then like a big bracelet just gorgeous. So I was really excited to show that to you because I really think a lot of you would enjoy this. And I love that, see how it's got the dimension? So that's one of the things that I got. And I got Gina and I also bought her, well, I'll let her show you. She's still gonna do a video. She's just been kind of out of her mojo lately, but she'll be back. And then they had these. And these are I think this is, I don't know, I don't think that's part of the Jonathan line. I think that's part of the regular line, but this was part of Jonathan's line. And it's just a set of bangles, and these have the turquoise. And I just thought those were so pretty. They're not attached. It's a plain one, and then one like that, and then one with three. And then they also have a set with black. And these, I got the whole set for $25. And I think when I looked on the website they were more than that but I'm not sure they have a lot of stuff on sale too so it's a fun little website to go look because they've really got some pretty things and um, I just love those so and here's the um, see rich rocks and I just love stuff like that I'm just curious about everything and I just love neat I love to learn about new things and like neat stuff okay this is one of their most popular bracelets and this is one of his, this is the Jonathan Shaban or Shaban's, you'll have to let me know how to say that, one of his most popular pieces. And I got this on a separate day. Um, John let me run in on, the day we went to the mall, I ran in and picked it up because I had been wanting it. And he had the kids in the car, so I just ran in and got it real quick. And I ended up getting the silver one, and I regretted it because I really... When I tried them on, I really liked the gold, but I felt like I needed something silver more because I have so many gold pieces that I like, but I just regretted it. So yesterday I went and exchanged it for the gold. And it is the, I'm not sure what it's called, but you'll see a lot of people on, um, on the website wearing them. And it's just a large cuff that fits like that. And I just think that that is so fabulous. And you could, I, like I could even wear it today over my shirt if I wanted to. But um, it looks, but really, it looks good. really good on my skin. The gold looks a lot better than the silver. And I have more of a yellowy golden tone in my skin anyway. And I just love it. And once again, this is going to look great in the summertime. Great with maxi dresses. Great with anything. And it's just one of those big, nice statement pieces that, you know, you could wear this and a pair of gold hoops and just be set. And I just love stuff like that. I love different stuff. And... Um, You'll see a lot of people on the website, they'll show them wearing this. I think Kim Kardashian, and I love the, there's some other cuffs that I like that Rihanna's got on. I can't remember if they're called bullet cuffs or something, but have fun looking at that website. And um, so I love that. And let's see, I got a few pieces of clothes and then that's going to be we it. Went I'll be right back. Oliver, last Friday night, I checked out, I always check out the, um, sale table because they have, that is my favorite thing to do. I love to go into these high-end boutiques and I head straight to the sale racks because I just love getting, you know, such a good deal on stuff like this. This is a Wild Fox tank and it was regularly, it's the Flower Potion tank, medium, 
regularly $69 and they had marked it down to for 30% off and then they had marked it 70% off. So I got it for like 20 bucks and it's just got the um, little design like that on it. And this will look perfect in the summertime or I could even wear it now with a another tank under it and then like a boyfriend blazer and my black like Avedon slick skinny jeans and boots or something. But for $20, it's so worth it. And I just thought it was so pretty and I love wild fox stuff. I love the whimsical, it's kind of like vintage, um, not Southern, but Western, vintage Western type things. I just like it. And um, I love the, a few of you have told me about the cuff, that wing cuff rose gold that's in the People Style magazine. I just got that magazine. And it is, you can't order it yet. They're just taking pre-orders, but I didn't want to do that. So I hope to get that one day. And um, so I love that for by another bucks. boutique that I have, I've only been in one time. It's kind of a new one. And I, could, I wasn't sure if it was like a Francesca's or if it was going to be more high-end, what it is. But it's kind of like in the middle. It's called Bovello. And I think there are several of them. But I had been wanting some new t-shirts. And so they had these. And the brand is Super Dry. I'm not sure. She said it was maybe like a UK brand, but I got this t-shirt and I just love it. I actually had it on today, but it's still a little bit cool and I really didn't want to wear a jacket. So I got this one and they were on sale and I got it, let's see, for, I think this is, it's a large and it was regularly $30 and I got it for $21. And then I got this one and it's the same, it's more of a scoop neck. And I think it was the same price. It was regularly 28 and I got it for 20 And the last thing I got in there is they sold the Hanky Panky thong underwear. And I, a couple of you have asked, and I absolutely love them. I see what the hype is about. I plan on getting a pair. Every time I go in a place like this, I want to grab a pair because I would like to have nothing but these. But these are the low-rise thong. And I just got the taupe color. And they were 18 and the other ones were the regular, so I'll see which ones I like best. A couple of you said you like the low rise. And, oh, the shirt I've got, got on today, um, I got at another little boutique type place on her sale rack. And, um, let's see, I, I think I had the receipt so I could tell you exactly what the brand is. But I will just write it right down here what the brand is. It starts with a T. I'm not sure, but it's so comfortable. It's kind of ribbed, and it's long, and it... Let's see, waffle top, it was regularly 32 and I got it for 14 and it's a size medium. And they had a like a cobalt blue. And so as soon as I put this on this morning, I called her and told her to hold that blue one because I just love it. So, it's so I'm going to do a quick out for the day and let you go enjoy your Friday. Today I have right this back. new top and like you can see, it's really long. And so I've just got it out. I do have a belt on, but I'm not going to tuck it in. I just kind of like it out and um love this top i love the way the sleeves are so long so i will let you know what the brand of it is and the and pants i have on you guys have seen before these are the rich and skinny cargo camo cargo and um, i believe i've seen these on amazon and the shoes are the bell by sigerson morrison and so just a casual outfit Accessories today, I have on these earrings, which are Jessica Simpson. I got these a while ago off of a, I think a clearance rack. Um, my ring is just probably one of my all-time favorite rings. It is the Plaza ring from Dean Davidson. And this is his bracelet. I believe it's called a tube bracelet. And this is also his jewelry. And it is the necklace. I'm not sure what this necklace is called, but this is Dean Davidson and it hangs a little bit lower than this one, which is the tube necklace. And um, so I like those. And my fossil aluminum champagne watch. These are two little bracelets that I got off of Etsy. And I think that's it. And you know, my fingernail polish is the Pink Friday OPI. And the fragrance I have on today is Prada Candy. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and thanks again for your just wonderful comments and inspiration and I hope to continue doing vlogs and I appreciate it so much. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. I almost forgot. Last week when I mentioned that I wanted to get um, Mac Cherish, one of my friends on here, Cat's Mom 61 Carol, 
sent me hers. She had ordered it and not liked it. She said that she all she did was swatch it or look at it or something. So we are doing a swap. And she sent me her Cherish, and I'm gonna send her, I'm sure I have lots of stuff I can swap with her. So I'm gonna be trying that soon. I just got it yesterday. And then she also sent me um, a tart cheek stain, which I have never tried, a Laura Mercier Wheat Dye Basics, and an OPI Sparkly Polish in Meat, Meat, Meat. <laughs> that must be from the, um, that must be from the Muppets collection. I'm not sure, but I love that. How pretty is that? So thank you so much, Carol. That was so sweet of you. And um, I will be getting your package out real soon. So I didn't want to forget to show you guys that. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.